Story number two, homeless in Paris. So I was walking, so I said, I, I won't give it up. I, I, will, I will find a place before Christmas for these nice muddlins. So I was walking uh, because I know, know another homeless guy who's like a real homeless, you know, like, like uh, big beer, like, okay, bigger than mine. Um, you know, really stinky. You see that the guy's like, like, like a real homeless. You know, some people are just begging for money. You don't know where is the money going. But the guy's a real homeless, so I sit there. Uh, fuck me. <laughs> so the guy was sitting at the... You have these uh, things on the street where the warm air from the metro coming up. So he was sitting uh, on top of that. So I was like, fuck me, he's a real homeless. So I thought, yeah, he will be the good person for my for my little madlands. So I went there. Uh, I asked the guy, okay, would you accept, uh, can I offer this uh, little thing for you? So he looked at me, he looked next to him. There was like a bottle of wine, well, or like half. And he showed me there was like, I don't know, two orange or, or something next to him. Well, I have some food, I don't need it. <laughs> and so I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> So you got you got rejected by the second homeless, yeah? Yeah, the second. I, I, after it was like it was like raining, so it, it was like it was like you know. Maybe you should have tried umbrellas. So it was like the shitty weather in Paris. No, I didn't have money to buy umbrellas. Yeah. Okay, now hang on, hang on. Now we stop this, yeah, and we're gonna have 